Okay, folks, here we are back at the uh, property rescue, the abandoned crack house. Here I am sitting uh, in the doorway of my shipping container, which has been very handy for keeping my stuff secure. Um, but uh, today we're going to get started on getting the awnings constructed off each side. Uh, this is the spot where we're going to store uh, my tractors off to my right and the sawmill is going to be an operational area and storage area to keep it out of the weather to my left. So um, yeah, yesterday I had you guys out here cutting down trees, JB Brown was helping me and uh, we got started on building materials for this very project. Uh, you'll also recall I got a bunch of plywood and uh, two by six uh, floor joists off of the uh, the trailer that we already disassembled. That's all stacked up right over here, ready to be used for the roofing. And um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's walk over to my drawing board and I can explain uh, what the plan is. And welcome to my whiteboard. This is how I'm going to explain to you what the plan is for putting the roof on this shipping container. So, uh, real simply, this, is the front of the shipping container. You know, it's got the doors there. Uh, and then off of the uh, uh, left side as, well, well, we'll call off to the right side. That's where the sawmill is gonna go, right in this area here. You got the saw going zzz, like that. And then uh, uh, we're going to put a roof, but we're going to do something a little uh, unorthodox or uh, out of expectation out of what you would expect, we're going to slope the roof up. And this, this is 12 feet. I have to figure out what the run is on that. And I need to figure out what angle I want to do that. But anyway, we're going to do a 12 foot roof sloping up. That's because I want to have room because we're going to be operating from the side of the shipping container, the 20 foot length of the uh, shipping container, such like this, this would be the side. So the sawmill sits here. We're going to be adding logs from this edge. So I want more space up here because I don't know if I'm going to get uh, uh, be moving a tractor in from that side. So I'm going to need headroom. Okay, so we're going to have that. All the water is going to run that way. Okay, and then off to this side, we're going to do the same slope but going down this is going to be 12 feet I uh, still need to figure out what the run is and ideally ideally what I should do is make that one long slope but I don't know I don't know yet if that's going to be what I'm going to do um, so ultimately we're going to have water collection off of this roof I've got the new tanks the new used tanks that I got for free uh, that's going to collect water and we're going to set that up uh, out back of the of the shipping container at some point but right now um, this is a priority we're going to put six by six posts which I've already got milled up sitting there into the ground and here and here and we're going to use a shipping container for support here and that's how it's going to look also probably not immediately but in sometime in the future we're going to put a wood floor over here underneath the sawmill um, so that's, that's in the future. Right now the priority is to get cover for the machinery because as you see right now I'm in a t-shirt and today is the 29th of December. <laughs> uh, two days left of 2022. You're probably seeing this, oh, hopefully, hopefully by February. Heaven forbid March, but uh, uh, I'm about currently eight weeks behind in footage, so hopefully Hopefully I can get that up um, to less than four weeks behind in footage. Um, but yeah, the weather's gonna get, keep getting nicer. Actually, we're probably going to get um, snow and more rain through the end of January and February. That's just the way Virginia is. Uh, Virginia's weird in the winter sense because, well, I'm in a t-shirt on the 29th of December. So this is the plan. We're gonna get started with that. I'm going to do less talking, more showing. Uh, so hopefully you're into that kind of ASMR type video. Uh, so sit back and watch and I'm going to cut some wood, dig some holes and um, bolt some 
timbers together. Let's do this. I do have to jump in real quick here and talk about this tree. This tree is going to have to be addressed. Um, right now, the trunk is not in the way from where I want to set a pole, but I'm not sure you know, how much longer this tree is going to last. The bark is flaking off around the bottom. Um, uh, at the very least, that branch will have to be taken down today. You know what? I got a little ahead of myself before I start building on this thing. I need to go ahead and harvest these trees back here before I put any time, effort, and money into a construction on this thing because, you know, these things can be aimed, but sometimes they'll they'll go the way they want to go. So I'm going to go go ahead and knock these trees down, try to make them fall this way or that way or this way. I think I'm going to try to get this one to fall on the on the building, on the pink house. What do you think? I already knocked this one down. I had to cut it about six feet up because it's wrapped with uh, with fencing. I don't want to mess with that. I'll just I just cut it off high. Went right there. You know what? This thing really wants to go that way. And that way. <laughs> So, it's leaning pretty hard this way, but I think I can make it go that way, so. Alright, didn't fall on the container, but I missed the house, which is, I guess that's alright, but it fell pretty close to where I wanted it to go. Man, what a rush. Well, I'm looking at bringing down these four more trees and uh, hopefully that goes as planned as well. Always hopefully, but uh, as I used to say in my time in the army, hope is not a method. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm not gonna film at all. All right, so I got a predicament. The chainsaw is stuck and the tree is leaning backwards uh, against the, the wedge. Uh, so it's, going the, it's wanting to go the opposite way. The chainsaw is stuck, so I'm gonna Give, uh, give the old tree a tug coming this way. Let's check out the chainsaw. Yeah, chainsaw is just fine. Anyway, that's three for today. Got more fencing on these trunks. It's highly annoying. Second thoughts time, folks. So I'm back here behind the container with three logs that would make great lumber. However, that one looks like it wants to fall right there. All the weight, it kind of has a lean to it that way. So all the weight is right there. I think even if I got my wedges just right, uh, at best I would nearly miss it, but I think I'm more of like a 60% chance of hitting the container. Um, the other thing is uh, there's an old fence here. See that? And these three logs, these three trees were used as fence posts. And you can see it was a long time ago because this tree, all these trees, have grown around the uh, the fence. So I would have to cut all these trees up at my own head height. I don't like doing that, for one. 
a lot of work and you get a face full of sawdust and it adds a new uh, layer of complexity and risk. So I'm thinking I'll let these trees, I'll let these trees go. It's kind of ironic that uh, that nailing wire to the tree is what saves it in the end. What do you think about that? I think eventually I'll, I'll come out here with some wire cutters and, and cut this wire free so I can throw it away, but uh, these trees are saved. It makes some good lumber though. There's not a whole lot of daylight left, so with what I do have, I think I'll go ahead and limb these out and section them up and maybe even haul them over to the log pile.